Thank you, Mr. President. Good afternoon, colleagues. Uh, today marks the 77th anniversary of the liberation of the Auschwitz Birkenau concentration and labor camp. And it's a day that has come to be known the world over as Holocaust Remembrance Day. And we mark this solemn occasion every year so that we never forget the horrors and atrocities of the Holocaust, which claimed the lives of six million Jewish people and millions of others. One million people were killed at Auschwitz-Birkenau alone by the Nazi regime. So this day is not about guilt or sadness or rehashing the past. It is a day to think about how and why the Holocaust happened at all. We remember the Holocaust because it must never be allowed to happen again anywhere in the world. It is not ancient history, and the hatred that drove those horrors still exists today. Less than two weeks ago, a gunman held four hostages in a standoff that lasted around 11 hours at Colleyville Congregation Beth Israel, a synagogue northeast of Fort Worth, Texas. And in 2020, the Anti-Defamation League recorded over 2,000 acts of anti-Semitic assault, vandalism, and harassment, the third highest year on record since ADL began tracking anti-Semitic incidents in 1979. If we are not eternally vigilant, if we do not continue to tell the truth of the Holocaust, then we risk its reoccurrence or other variations of its reoccurrence. These stories need to be told because they are an everlasting reminder that genocides do not happen in countries that have democracies. They happen when democracies fail. It is a reminder that the Holocaust occurred because people, regular citizens, and leaders made choices that allowed it to happen. They did not live up to their responsibilities to protect others, particularly those that were different than they were. It is a reminder that as leaders, as citizens, and as just humans, we have a wide circle of responsibility to others in our democracy. We must protect and nurture this democracy and each other we must stand up for those who deserve our care and protection. The story of the Holocaust is a reminder that the systematic murder of six million Jewish people and millions of others because of their ethnicity, political beliefs, sexual orientation, or religion was possible because of the silence or complicity of ordinary people. Adolf Hitler alone was not responsible for the Holocaust. It could not have happened without the choices made by individuals, organizations, and governments. The story of the Holocaust will be shared because it is a story for everyone to be reminded that humans can do horrible things in the name of what seems at the time to be a good reason. We must remember every word has consequence, and just as importantly, every silence does as well. Those of us in this chamber have a greater responsibility to most to combat hate and violence wherever we see it. And on this Holocaust Remembrance Day, I hope we will all commit to fulfilling that responsibility. I want to also share that um, earlier today, I was joined by members uh, and the executive director of the Jewish Federation of Greater Atlanta, the Bremen Jewish Heritage Museum, the Anti-Defamation League, and the Georgia Commission on the Holocaust in recognition of this day and to recognize them for the work that they do. I want to also point out that we have members right here in this chamber who sit on the Georgia Commission on the Holocaust, our senator, good senator from the 15th and the good senator from the 32nd, and formerly our senator from the 2nd. So Holocaust Remembrance Day, let us not forget and we remember. Thank you so much. I yield the well.